Right, I've been playing with magnets for quite a while now and decided that it was about time I uh, got my, my <coughs> paws on a gauss meter of some description. Uh, but they're not very easy to come by, so I've, I've bodged up two versions. Here we've got one here, which is uh, it's nice because it's got lots of lights on it. And uh, as we move the gauss meter in, the lights uh, go in. This will also indicate polarity, as you can see it's down, down to the south there, north there, south, north, south, north, depending on where you put it. This um, basically runs off 5 volts and the, uh, the Hall effect sensor uh, gives an output uh, roughly 2.5 volts when there's no field and it either goes high or low. Uh, proportionally from about two and a half volts when there's no field up to three, four, five when it's when it's fully saturated. It's using a PIC program to uh, uh, give a readout seven levels high, seven levels low. Not very, perhaps not very accurate, but uh, certainly. Uh, very pretty. And the other version I've got here is this one with the multimeter. This one here has just got a regulator in it and the Hall effect sensor on the end. I'll turn it on. There we are, turn it on. And if we look at the meter, whoops. You can see the meter wobbling about nicely, dropping down to a volt there. I'll we'll take it away and it goes back goes back up high. The response is pretty linear. These particular Hall effect sensors uh, are 3.125 millivolts per uh, gauss. Well they move 3.125 millivolt per gauss. Um, but the response is reasonably linear. There are better Hall effect sensors that uh, will give you two and a half millivolt per gauss but uh, these are quite useful and very simple to make actually 